The Witcher 4 is one of the most highly anticipated upcoming games and it still remains shrouded in mystery. It's been a while since we've had any new details but thankfully that has now changed. CD Projekt Red have just revealed some exciting new information about the game in their latest earnings call. In this video I'm going to break down all the new details released from the studio and discuss what this means for the future of the new Witcher saga. First up, let's summarise everything we know so far. Now I quickly just want to point out in case you didn't know that the game won't be called The Witcher 4. We don't have the official title yet, but CD Projekt Red have been referring to The Witcher 4 with a code name of Polaris. The developers made the big announcement back in March 2022 that the next Witcher game is in development and will be made using Unreal Engine 5 instead of their own Red Engine. The move to Unreal Engine 5 through a partnership with Epic Games is super exciting, but don't worry, it won't be an Epic Games exclusive. The transition to the new engine means the studio will have better tools and capabilities to really improve the visuals and graphics of the next game. What's even more exciting, as part of the game's announcement, the studio also revealed that the next Witcher game will mark the beginning of a brand new saga for the Witcher franchise. This means that much like the Witcher games that already exist, there will be multiple games in the new series. Of course, we know that Geralt won't be the main character, but more on this later in the video. So, since this announcement back in 2022, we've only had tiny bits of new information. In November last year, the studio revealed that there was around 330 people actively working on The Witcher 4, with the goal to have over 400 working on the game by mid-2024. We knew that the game was a big focus for the studio, but we haven't really had any new information about the game at all. However, CD Projekt Red's latest earnings call does give us some new details about the game. Firstly, the studio's joint CEO confirmed that Codename Polaris is currently in the pre-production phase with full production expected to begin in the second half of this year. We know there are now 403 developers in total working on the game, making it the studio's most active project. Although the studio wouldn't comment on any release date for the game, they did indicate back in 2022 that the very earliest release would be 2025. It's such a huge project, I personally wouldn't expect it next year, or possibly the year after. We also got some further evidence that The Witcher 4 will deviate from the previous Witcher trilogy. We know it won't be the same story, but it seems like we can also expect something different in terms of gameplay. The joint CEO stated that, when it comes to the risks of innovative elements, making a new game is always a creative risk, especially since we're trying to push new boundaries and explore new fields. That's something we haven't actually done before. This is a pretty broad paintbrush stroke for sure, but I cannot go into too much detail without actually talking about the game per se. I guess what I'm saying is that you should not be expecting The Witcher 3 in new clothing of sorts. This is very interesting and definitely tells us that we can be expecting something quite different to The Witcher 3. Pushing the boundaries and exploring new fields sounds really exciting and I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this in the future from the studio. What's even more interesting, however, is Nowakowski's comment about gameplay. He says that The Witcher 4 will have new gameplay elements and new mechanics that you have not seen in our previous games. As it's still in the pre-production phase, ED Project Red are probably still figuring out the specifics right now, but this is super exciting news. So, what does this mean for the next Witcher saga? If you remember, along with the announcement, we got this teaser image. At the time of recording this video, it remains the only official image we have of Codename Polaris so far. Now, when this image dropped, it triggered a whirlwind of theories being made about the next game. CD Projekt Red were clearly showing us that the next game would be moving in a different direction to the familiar story of Geralt of Rivia. I'll save all the theories for another video, but what we do know is, of course, it's a Witcher medallion that is partially buried in snow. There was a ton of debate about this representing the Witcher school of the cat. However, it has since been confirmed by the community director that the medallion actually represents the Witcher school of the Lynx. The most notable character we can tie to the school of the Lynx is Lambert, as he founded the school alongside Kira Metz. The studio have made it clear a few times that Geralt's story ended in The Witcher 3. In 2015, a senior writer noted during an interview to IGN, Geralt has had such an amazing adventure and his saga is already so long and complex, that this seems like a good point to think about an appropriate finale for the story. 
So we know for sure that the next Witcher game will not be continuing Geralt's story, but the School of the Lynx could definitely be open to interpretation. We could follow Ciri as the main character, or it could be a new Witcher we've not seen before, either before or after Geralt's time. With the new gameplay mechanics, it could be that we create our own Witcher character. I think a lot of players would be supportive of this, as if you make your own character, you will become a real part of the Witcher world. Maybe we get to choose which Witcher school we come from, much like choosing your house in Hogwarts Legacy. Each Witcher school could have a unique set of skills, armour or weapons, something to make each school different and adds to the replayability of the game. Either way, we know for sure that CG Project Red aren't abandoning the Witcher world. Talking about The Witcher 3 before its release, a developer commented that we are not killing the world and walking away from it, we will definitely want to make this game the finale in a big way. We might even include Geralt in later games potentially, we just need to talk about it and figure out what we're going to do next. So we may well see our beloved Geralt again in the next game, just not as the main character. What do you guys think the new gameplay mechanics in the next Witcher game could be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is the number one game that I'm most excited for in the next few years and I can't wait to hear more from the studio about Codename Polaris. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more RPG gaming news. As always, thank you for watching, see you next time.